There is nowhere safe in Kharkiv these days. Russian bombs, kamikaze drones and missiles can strike anywhere and at any time in Ukraine's second largest city. I was standing by the window. Shards of glass injured my face. I fell on the floor. My wife gave me first aid. We came outside and it was complete hell. <laughs> Neighbors and friends comfort each other. They make temporary repairs to their wrecked homes. But there is mounting fear of increasing Russian attacks involving what ballistic experts say are repurposed Soviet weapons. The so-called glide bomb, fired by a jet fighter out of range of most of Ukraine's air defenses. People in this neighborhood say there is no strategic or military site here. There are attacks like these happening day and night across Kharkiv city and the wider region. And for every attack, the fear amongst the people who live here is growing. And this rising anger among some residents who accuse the authorities of not doing enough to protect them. I won't touch him, shouts this man to the mayor of Kharkiv's bodyguards. Are you telling me to fight, he asks the mayor. You go fight, because I remember on the day of the invasion you were just planting flowers. You now just sit in cafes drinking. Once again, there are explosions in Kharkiv, and that's why people are so distressed. We need air defense. We have to close the skies. Across the city, smoke rises from more burnt-out homes, destroyed this time by an intercepted Russian kamikaze drone. The remnants of people's lives broken and scattered in the dirt. The charred remains of an animal. A pet, maybe. 67-year-old Galina sifts through the rubble of her home. She moved to Ukraine from Belarus almost 50 years ago. Shock. Nothing else but shock, she cries. Hopelessness. I don't know what to do. I live alone. What can I do? Russia says it doesn't deliberately target civilians and it's trying to hit Ukraine's strategic and energy infrastructure in revenge for Ukrainian attacks across the border. <laughs> Empty words for the people of this city, many of whom, like Galina, are terrified and struggling to cope. Charles Stafford, Al Jazeera, Kharkiv. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.